can you solve this algebra challenge? Here's the question. Given this equation, 4 raised to the power of x plus 4 raised to the power of y plus 4 raised to the power of c equals 336, wherein x, y, and z are all natural numbers, then what is the value of x, y, and z? Pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. All right, so given this equation, and x, y, and z are all natural numbers or simply positive integers, then the goal is to find the value of x, y, and z. Now, in this question, of course, let's assume first that x is greater than y and y is greater than z. And in general, if you find the value of x, y, and z, then the solution is its permutation. Now, to answer this kind of question, let's observe that the left-hand side of our equation the base is all equal to 4. It tells us that we need to convert 336 into base 4. That's all we need to find the answer to this question. And we have two possible methods to convert any number to some bases. So in our case, we need to convert 336 to base 4. And here's the first method to convert this number to base 4. So what we need is to familiarize ourselves into the powers of 4. So 4 raised to 0 is 1, 4 raised to 1 is 4, 4 squared is 16, 4 cubed is 64, 4 raised to the power is 256, and 4 raised to the fifth power is 1024. Now we will stop at this point because 1024 is too big for 336. Now, 336 can be written in this format. And the left-hand side is, of course, equivalent to 336. Now, what you're going to do is how many 4 raised to the fourth power are there in 336? And that's only one. Because 336 minus 256, this is just 80. Now, from here, how many 4 cubed or 64 are there in 80? And that's only one. Because 80 minus 64 is just 16. Now, these 3 adds up to 16. So, how many 4 squared or 16 are there into 16? And, of course, there's only 1. Now, how many 4 raised to 1? Of course, 0. And how many 4 raised to 0? And that's also 0. Now, from here, let's look at the white number. 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. That's exactly the base for representation of 336. In short, 336 can be written as 4 raised to the fourth power plus 4 raised to the third power plus 4 raised to the second power. And that's it. Therefore, we can say that x equals 4, y equals 3, and z equals 2. And technically speaking, we can rearrange this and still the sum is just 336. So the general solution is the permutation of 4, 3, and 2. All right? Now, how about the second method to convert 336 to base 4? So here's the second method. If you don't want to memorize the powers of 4, here's the second approach. So first, get the number 336, then divide this by 4. Now you get 84 and the remainder of 0. Now get this quotient, then divide this by 4. So 84 divided by 4 is 21, then remainder 0. Get this quotient. So we have 21 divided by 4. This is 5 remainder 1. Let's repeat. 5 divided by 4 is 1, then remainder 1. Now get this 1. 1 divided by 4 is 0, remainder 1. And we will stop at this point because 0 divided by 4 is 0 and remainder 0. So it's nonsense. Now, let's look from bottom to top. So 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, and that is the base for representation of 336. And it also follows that 336 can be written as 4 raised to the fourth power plus 4 cubed plus 4 squared. So x equals 4, y equals 3, and z equals 2. And this is our answer to this question. So given this equation, then the values of x, y, and z are 4, 3, and 2, respectively. And as always, 
we are done.